Yo, what's up guys? Your boy Curse Fallen here, and I'm here with another Shadowverse video. I know it's been a while, but I've been playing a few other games, such as, um, I think it was Evertale and Undertale. I don't remember what it was. I haven't played that one in a while, but y'all do know Cyber Hunter, I've definitely been playing a lot of. Um, other than that, um, this video is pretty much... It's still me ranking up, but it's pretty much a video to show you how making good plays sometimes actually allows your opponent to probably rage quit. And in each of these videos, y'all gonna pretty much see how. Um, like, by turn 4, turn 5, and I don't actually remember what turn this one was. But this was probably a late game. It was just the fact that the play kept going that he just surrendered mid-play. And you'll see exactly what I mean by that um, during this game. But, um, yeah. So, starting off, pretty much I was just like I wanted to, you know, continuously clear his board with as little effort as possible. And just put down extra stuff, you know, just because I can't. <laughs> um, still kind of recovering from the cold. It's, um, it's gone. It's really, really gone. It's just more or less, um, clearing all of this stuff out of this system. But, um, yeah, so this game, though, actually was the most difficult one out of the three you're going to see. It was just like, um, I mean, it's RuneCraft, you know. It's not much I can say other than that. It's RuneCraft. Um, so, it was just that for every, I guess, answer she would have given me, I had an answer for that. Like, any plan she had, any plot she was going for was just able to, you know, pull out any kind of play that could actually be more beneficial to me in the long run. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the entire, like, synopsis of this game. Um, this is the only game that I actually went second. And this is actually funny because in the last seven, eight games I've been going first, it was the only game I went second, and after this, it was just straight first game. But anyway, like, for everything she has, I have an answer for. And then, I believe, was once I pull out the Orcus play, she knew what it was, and she was just like, nah. She pretty much was good at clearing the board as well, with, you know, her runecraft spells and stuff. I really don't appreciate runecraft spells. I feel like they're a little OP, but they gotta have something OP about them. <laughs> it's not like you can't play Kakai this turn four or something, but there you go. Let's take out his zealot. Eradicated all oh, everything but the truth and all that great stuff. Uh, I think I pulled my shelf for the purgation blade, but I wasn't really going for, for the Maisha play, per se. Because I already knew that there was something she was going to do to destroy it. It wasn't something I was planning on. But I had two workers, so I pulled out three, pulled out one puppet, but just the one. Um, just in case. And then that happened. So, I had to get rid of that. So I turned it into that little, um, puppeteer, puppet creature, monster, person. I actually don't know its name. Um, yeah, I did that. And I just pulled out, uh, the other two puppets. I actually don't remember why I did what I did. But that draw kind of saved me because I literally effed up. I wanted to keep the two puppets in. I didn't want to get rid of 
um, that puppet because um, uh, I didn't really care of killing him per se. Anyway, so she pops the Mecha Wing Angel, and this is when I believe she hits the forfeit button. Take that person down with that, and then that with that, and then I have Vengeful Puppet. And I pop that one, and then I pop the second one. And then I attack with the second one. And then that one dies, but then I pop a third one, and then she quits, I believe. <laughs> Wasn't much she can do against it, because, you know. But anyway, next game, I want to say this was a fairly decent game. It wasn't as good as the last one. I don't, like, I didn't find trouble with it, more or less. It was just that I was doing a decent a, a decent amount of board clears and pulling out a lot of plays with minimal um, minimal play points. Like, I believe turn four, you're going to see, like, a really good or decent play. If not turn four, it's the next game. It's turn four. But these two games lasted about four to five turns for, like me and I actually never had people surrender on me this quickly especially this higher up in the rank because even in like my like in the rookie level it wasn't that easy or D level I had people play out to the end and it was pretty decent but yeah so I had pretty much like I said an answer for everything pulled out two puppets take them out real quick um Opponent's turn. Couldn't do anything for some apparent reason. So I pulled out Lashena. Yeah, pull out Lashena and actually I believe this one lasted to turn eight. The next game lasts to turn five or something. Anyway, so that guy pulled off that. I was like, alright, cool. I can do. You know, it's just like use a puppet to destroy that giant, and of course it's gonna summon two of those droids, which I found okay. I use another puppet to take out one, and then I believe I use this to take out those. I didn't actually have to use that puppet. Um, I think I just summoned these because I could. I actually don't uh it's because I wanted to use uh, destruction of light by then. Uh, there you go, popped it down to five real quick and summoned out that guy. Cause I wanted to pretty much have a way of defending myself, simple enough, took out the little bat, attacked him directly, popped that guy, and since he got Bane and Evo plus 3 is awesome, so now he's 3-9. But he, he pulls off a really decent play to take out a 9 defensive monster, it was impressive to me. Bam, 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 bam. Now he can't take out uh, her, so he's gonna attack me directly. And I'm just like, that's pretty amazing. But I get destruction of white. Then I use this guy, I'll use it on it again. And now I have another one in hand. And I pulled out the inspired inventor and popped another little invention thingy in my hand. But then she surrenders because she already knows what's coming next. So, that was that game. And then finally for this game, it was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I just want to, I believe it was turn four for me. When I pulled off a play that was pretty much out of, like, 
I can't even put it into words. It's pretty much I took out a lot of monsters. Not I didn't take out a lot of monsters. I just did a lot of stuff with four play points, and I believe I summoned the monster, summoned some puppets to take out somebody else, and then summoned something else, and then it was just like. Uh, then I believe she just tried to pull off something else last minute, and it was awesome. But anyway, this is the quickest game I think I've ever had, other than when people like auto surrender after their my first play or something when I'm playing Havencraft. They're like, oh, Temple of the Holy Lion, surrender. And I'm just like, what? So, to be honest, I tend to rank up a lot with Havencraft, which is why I tend to like. I tend to freaking. Can you put it in the for real? I just tend to play with them. And that's why I have a lot of. I play a lot more games than Papercraft because it's easier for me to win in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it was. This is like very simple in the sense that, like, there was nothing that they can pretty much do. And then it's turn five. I have Lucina, you know, she got Bane. <laughs> she does damage. I just attack that guy. She's just like, all right, cool, I'm going to play. Nah, I won't accept it. Like, just auto-surrender. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. See y'all next time. Peace.